Yo, what's up guys? Cyclone, back online. Just setting up, uh, there we go. See if I can even get a match uh, on, I'm just... I'll be opening up the uh, chat on my computer. Okay, there's the video. Cool! Alright! Let's hop on this business and see what we get, you know? Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, welcome to the stream. Happy Friday. I'm shocked at how fast this lobby actually appeared. Let's see if we get some opponents. Start our Friday off... Well, start the weekend off, right? Friday, uh, work and everything, my goodness. Probably haven't heard the end of it yet. Probably have some more emails on the way. <laughs> Everyone likes to bug you on Friday evenings. Uh, we hope to have a match within... Let's see, I'm looking at the clock. Uh, whenever I play this game, it takes about 10 to 15 minutes normally to get a match. Because it's Friday afternoon EST, I'm hoping... Uh, that we won't have to wait that long, or much longer than that. The question is, who am I going to play today? I might go with Phoebe for a change. Um, look, we're on only, you know, what, eight months left of this game? Seven, eight months of this game? So, i got to play the characters that I've enjoyed uh, over the years. I think today sounds like a Phoebe day to me. Why not? Phoebe, Galilea, and Shane and Oryx are my favorite characters. Uh, I'd say oh, Atticus is up there. Um, Galt in the right situation. I only really like Galt for Incursion, though. Um, and occasionally... I would like a character like uh, Ernest or El Dragon, who is a... I love El Dragon. Uh, the only problem with Dragon is that you do need a competent team to use him. Uh, because when you're solo queuing, <laughs> uh, he is a little bit terrifying to use <laughs> when you're solo queuing. Uh, first five or six levels, you're trying to get your damage reduction up. That's like your only objective. And uh, once you start getting his buffs to splash and his additional damage reduction and health regen and things like that, uh, you can be more aggressive with him. That's my, that's my memory of the character. Fingers crossed that we have five more people logging on. And I may come back and stream later in the night EST. Um, I just have the urge to play Battleborn today. So, I'll be on now for, uh, depending on... I will have to go help a family member with something. Uh, so, let's see. There's no exact timing as to when that will be, but I'll have to take a break from the stream at that point, do it, and then maybe I'll just... I could just probably leave the stream running and then come back. We'll see what, we'll see what happens. But I plan to be on um, throughout the evening later tonight as well. I want to get some games in tonight. I, I, actually, I enjoyed the last stream I did. It's been a very long time since I've done this. And uh, even though I only got two games in last time, they were both enjoyable. And uh, I want to enjoy something. <laughs> I've been playing a lot of uh, Path of Exile, which is a game you can always go revisit uh, as a fan of that genre. It is almost an endless 
replayability value, which is very rare for games today. You usually play a game and you're like, I played it. Um, but something about Path of Exile, the how many types of characters you can build and how deep the end game goes, it's very hard to get to end game. Uh, basically impossible. But still, that that chase, that progression is very appealing. It keeps you playing. Uh, it looks like we have one more person. Welcome. I'm in the matchmaking hell. Uh, hopefully not for too long. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm gonna give this five more minutes and then I'll try to refresh it. And it's only it's only it's only uh, 4:40 here Eastern time. That's still a little early for the rest of the country, so uh, I may have better luck later tonight, which is why I said this is gonna likely be a a prolonged or a two-part stream. Uh, so you'll you'll see me back later tonight. I have decided to go with Phoebe tonight. That's the character of choice. Unless Phoebe somehow gets stolen from me, which uh, I think I can s snag her uh, before other people do. Yeah, we're going to go with Phoebe's tonight. It's been a while. Uh, she's a beast. You know, uh, solo queue, she can be... Uh, a little bit more challenging to play with solo queue because she's a sentry beast. She destroys sentries. That's her job. <laughs> she's uh, uh, she's good at, at uh, catching runaways and also killing sentry. Um, but without you know good support, she's a little bit squishy. So you're just you're trying to be careful with this character when you run in and run out. You're gonna run in and run out a lot as Phoebe. You're gonna run a lot. You're not going to stay in place and just swing the sword. You're going to run towards people, run away from people, run towards your allies, get the minions going. Uh, very much uh, active and moving character. Uh, unlike, uh, you know, who's a character like like Galilea is going to be a little bit more zone-heavy focus. Uh, you're going to stay around key areas, minions, protect your allies, set up, you know... Uh, damage reduction walls and uh, that's kind of what her deal is and stunning people that's her job there's characters I never really got into playing in this game I, again I know my my five favorites and I think people who've watched my videos know who they are but you know we know who the fi the all-time favorite is right here uh, the secondary favorite is pretty much Galilea uh, you're then looking at Phoebe uh, is really at like a two and a half, a three. She's like right there. Um, Galt is actually a really awesome pick, but only for incursion. And I like only playing him with a solid team. I do not like solo queuing with Galt if the team is is bad. He's he's not a great solo queue character. Um, I do like this guy, but I do find his gameplay a little bit. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's just so big that he sometimes gets caught on walls, and uh, that sometimes annoys me with his uh, leaping. But come on, he's a he's an absolute monster. He's a top tier character. He's crazy. <laughs> he's absurd. Um, I actually also like this this man, even though he's only at rank 14. I should I should try to get him to 15. What the hell? I should get him, should get him to 15 before this game goes offline. Um, I never used EXP boosters ever. So, uh, none of these guys got juiced on faster experience. And, you know, I like this guy, too. I really like this guy. Again, mostly for incursion. And I like this guy. Not, not the strongest character and definitely needs a good team, but when you have a good team, he's actually... He's just a peppy, fun healer. I like him. He, he has good, good mobility... Uh, he's very floaty and jumpy. It's kind of a fun... He's like on a trampoline. <laughs> uh, when 
you start getting down here, I don't love these characters as much, and that's just my personal opinion. I do, I do like Marquis. I do like Marquis, and I did not appreciate him enough, and that's my fault. Uh, I should have, I should have tried Marquis out more in my Battleborn lifetime, and I'm, meh. I'm probably going to uh, before the game shuts down. Ooh. Ooh, covered in bees, Ron Deasy. On face-off? Go! No! <laughs> we got a face-off to start. Face-off Friday, is that what we call this? <laughs> oh. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe someone's gonna leave. Let's find out. People used to leave at this point. Let's see. Uh, people staying for face-off. Welcome to the stream. We are seeing if a face-off match is actually going to start. Well, they actually they stayed. <laughs> I said we're going to play Phoebe tonight primarily, and later in the evening I'll be back on. And uh, I'm just going to play Battleborn today. Screw it. Let's go. Let's go, man. We're going to go with our cheap-ass white build because it's face-off, and I don't care. I don't care at all. I'm just going to run around like a dumbass. And if I die, so be it. It's not uh, a mode I take a lot of focus on. <laughs> oh, there's my duo. If you disrespect them, I swear... Don't, don't stealth strike into five enemies expecting to do something. Ooh, look at, the, look at how sweaty they're going. Look at that. That's called sweat. Look at that. They want to kick my ass. I'm, I'm calling it now. They want to destroy me. <laughs> they want to kill me with that comp. Oh. They want to destroy me. Boulder, Mike, Alani, Ombra, and Deandy. Hmm. I'm probably better off just getting this out of the way on a face-off match. Um, I do not suspect that we're going to have a great chance. I don't recognize the people on our side, so that's a problem. You know. Taking a long time to start here. Come on now. Did someone leave? Face off. Ooh, Defeat Shane has a one. Their masks. Has a one. Place those ooh. masks in the central repository. Now I could do the silence. The more difficult the target, Actually, I the could more do valuable that, but I always go speed. Use tactical structures to lure more Varelsi onto the battlefield, or to summon minions to harass the enemy team. Defeat enemy Battleborn to force I wonder them to if drop Pizza's their masks have and claim them for here. your own. The first team to reach 500 points achieves victory. Lighting this up in three, two, one. Begin. I would love some help over here. My team is just asleep. Slay them all, you say? With pleasure. Thank you. 
Okay. I like that. Because they're after my ass. I need a healing item. Okay, Marquis. I need a healing item. Uh, that would be the R3. There we go. Alright. Uh, I want to do melee damage, actually. Let's do that. Headhunter bot deployed. 
Help! <laughs> Headhunter bot moving out. Enemy headhunter bot deployed. Be on your guard. Okay. Friendly headhunter bot deployed. Our team needs to be in the middle a little bit more. Has deployed a headhunter bot. Watch your back, Battleborn. Enemy headhunter detected. You are my feet. Dude, I can't get a fucking thing. Like, where's our team? Yo, we need to be up front, my man. Friendly headhunter bot moving out. Eight measly points, but I'll take eight better than nothing. Oh, this is good. I like my damage reduction. It's a very good skill. I'm a fucking level. Huh? <laughs> 
Come on, Marquis! No, oh, Marquis just standing there. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear! Yeah, it's over. Watch your back, Battleborn. Enemy headhunter detected. Oh boy, a rank five marquee, guys. Someone call the bot patrol. Enemy forces have deployed a headhunter. <laughs> someone, someone, tell me that I care because it's face off. Your team is carrying enough mass to win. Go deposit them. Don't you dare underestimate me. What are we doing over here? An ally has deployed a headhunter box. If you all deposited your masks now, you would win the match. You will not survive this. Striking distance of victory. Keep it up. Enemy headhunter bot deployed. Be on your guard. Your team is carrying enough masks to win. Go deposit them. <laughs> <laughs> I got Mike trapped up there. He didn't think I was going to see him. <laughs> That's covered in bees. <laughs> oh. Sorry, bees. I use that trick all the time. Standing up on that little doorway. I love that little trick. <laughs> he tried to jump off and it, it. There's an invisible wall there. You can't actually jump off of it. You have to get, clear, you have to get clearance to jump off it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> happens to me too I, that uh I think I once was fighting someone up there like on the top and we were both like fighting on the, the two tops of that little archway <laughs> we were just hitting each other back and forth up there <laughs> it was so stupid <clears throat> well I'll take a win even though no one gives a shit about face off uh if you just go around trying to kill people, it's like TDM, but with an objective there. Like, honestly, I would have kind of liked if there was a Team Deathmatch mode that uh, it didn't have these interruptions and it was more about, like, getting your team some buffs during the match. Um... I would have even... I mean, I think they were trying to do that with Supercharge in a way, but not really. That was like... A, like, take the minions to a point. Um, this is the closest we have to Team Deathmatch in the game, and it's... You know... That interruption in the middle is just kind of annoying when um, you go to the Varelsi and you have to do that little mini-boss. And honestly, that's, I think, besides everything else, we, we all know the reasons why this game didn't succeed very well. But one of the things is that it did not have a, uh, a team deathmatch mode. Um, I know it's not designed for that, but, like, imagine a mode where only white gear is allowed. 
or no gear is allowed, and you just play team deathmatch like Overwatch, like T like you know, like TDM, and uh, the game still has the same mechanics. You still can link up skills, but you wouldn't be utilizing these like meta heavy uh, pieces of gear. You would just use the characters as they are. Um, you'd have the skill tree, of course, but uh, I would have been fascinated to see if that would have worked in this game. Uh, but the problem is they didn't have the right matchmaking server. I think they used an Amazon server, and it is not good, as you guys can see. Um, but, you know, we, we, everyone's ranted about this. I've, I've been vocal about some of the, the shortcomings of this game. That's not news. Uh, it's just I'm reflecting on the game as I play it, and I would have been interested to see if uh, that sort of game mode would have worked. And it might have. It might have. We have 11.8 on the credits. Don't you need 12 something or 19? It's one of the two. Let me just. I think you need 19 for a box. Don't you? A uh, a Magnus box. Which of course, you'd you'd only go for a Magnus box at this point in the game. A Magnus is 19,000. That's right. Uh, yeah, I went down the Magnus Road pretty deep. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Let's see, what did I get, like 15 Magnus uh, skins, not counting the blue and green ones? Uh, the, the, the red ones? <laughs> <sighs> oh, man, I... She was amazing for a long time, and then they nerfed her. Um, I don't necessarily say it was a bad idea to nerf her. It's more... Uh, she does no fucking damage, man. She does no damage. Solo queuing with Beatrix is a death sentence. Same, th It's like uh, Kid Ultra and Beatrix are just death sentences if you're solo queuing. Forget it. Um... She can help with more of arena style, where you're setting up like some attack speed buffing or damage buffing in general, and she's kind of that link uh, that like arena would do. Um, but with her, you're, it's like you're buffing your allies with damage, and Reyna is marking enemies to take more damage, and. Uh, you definitely don't want both on a comp. That would be foolish. Don't do it. Her silence got nerfed, uh, and that was what was making her like unstoppable in the early days. I remember that. She was like the most powerful character in the game. It was her and Galilea uh, in a lot of ways. But, you know, characters that have always been really strong are Alani. She has always been top tier. She's just absurdly good. Uh, arguably the best crowd controller in the game and uh, you know while her healing is targeted uh, it, there is some AOE heal with her geyser and uh, if you go with wave you, you can do wave heal but it's not common to do that uh, she's a monster man a absolute monster and excuse me sorry about that do I need to say more I mean this is this is called being broken. All right, here, I mean, this guy, <laughs> this guy is absolutely busted. And anyone who's played this character knows to, how much damage he does, and how easy it is to get that damage. It's not like you have to level this guy up a million levels. You just start doing a Hawkeye, and all of a sudden someone's dead. Wow, <laughs> who would have thought? All I had to do is hit a Hawkeye and shoot three or four rockets, and they're dead. It's amazing. <laughs> And his ultimate is arguably the best offensive ult in the game. So, there's that too. Uh, I mean, an ultimate that can go across the map? Are you... What? Like, it's, a, it's incredible what this guy can do. Now, I've played him, and he is an absolute blast to play. Um, but it's not really my style to be the, the offense guy all that often. I, I kind of like being a tank and a, and a central character. 
Uh, that's kind of what I like doing. And, and, B, and Benedict is absolutely a kill chaser. There, there's really no other job for him. Um, I mean, of course, you can always do minion clear, but he is a kill chaser by design. You're, you're shooting the rockets to kill people. That's your job. And you can weaken minions, but your hot, your hot guy's on the prize. <laughs> um, what else do I have to say about Thorn? Uh, as thin as a pencil, can't hit her. Uh, she dodges range, which is her supposed to be her threat. She even gets out of melee because of her fucking jump. I mean, hello. <laughs> She's amazing. Her damage is great. She has area damage. One of the best ults in the game. DOT, damage over time. Hello. Helps killing people going out behind cover. Like, if you hit them, they may die. Uh, amazing. And uh, we all know that she's incredible. I'd be... I mean, I haven't studied the characters in a long time, but I have a conceptual tier list. Um, more for incursion purposes, of course, because if we're talking about competitive battle board, we're talking about incursion most, m most often. A and you can also say meltdown. Like... I would not say this character is as good on Meltdown, but she's not that much worse. I, I think, you know, she has enough area damage to help with minion clear that makes her just, like, good at everything. What What is she bad at? Does anyone want to tell me what she's bad at? She even has the, the Eldred health regen, so it's like she has survivability, too. It's not like she's a complete pencil. It's amazing. <laughs> she She's absolutely broken in that regard. Like... The only thing she doesn't have, the only, only thing that she doesn't have is is a viable close-range option, but that's when you have an ally help you or run away. Once you're back in the mid-range, you're a god again, and that's all, there, that's all it takes. So I think these three are the best characters in the game for a lot of reasons. With Atticus and Galt, they're in the conversation. And Kelvin and Montana, I would say, are the best tanks in the game. I think that's also a, an established uh, fact. A lot of people say, this guy's the king of setups. He has more crowd control. Knock-up. Double knock-up. Can't kill him. He can fire forever. <laughs> you know, he's a walking uh, punching bag, and he's so hard to kill. Same with Kelvin. I mean, Kelvin... My god. Talk about unkillable. With the right team behind you, you are uh, you are unkillable. It's like, no. I'm going to go in and fight five people, stun them all, set up three ults from my allies, and while everyone's stunned, I'm going to put a wall up so they can't run away. Huh. You know, that's Kelvin. And that wall is low-key disgusting. Uh, if you know how to use that wall and block off escape routes, you... <laughs> Oh, it's a beautiful thing, that wall. So, yeah, I, I think the consensus has been out for a while, but, like, we're, this is what we're talking about. And then, of course, I mean, well, there's one more that I'm not mentioning. I think we all know this son of a gun. Uh, the Damage King for just consistent, sustained DPS. There's no one that beats Mike. Mike is, uh, my gosh, people ban, people ban Oscar Mike. They outwardly ban this guy because when they buffed his regular attack damage, it, it went to a level that was better than Whiskey's ultimate. Wait, repeat this? Apparently, and I haven't, I actually didn't test it, but this is what I've read for people who play the characters. Basically, using Mike later in the tree, he, he does better regular shot damage than Whiskey's ultimate does. <laughs> Gearbox at it again, guys. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Whiskey went into the dumpster, unfortunately, and Mike was meta, meta king. Um, I, I, I constitute Boulder as in the next category where we're at the very much viable category, but not completely broken. He is very annoying. And when I play Shayna Norox, he's the worst character that I want to see. Worst. He nullifies all of Shayna Norox's setup because he st sticks his stupid head into every 
stealth strike or fetch that I will do, the boulder will, will, will get in my way. It always fucking happens. And a smart boulder is going to cut off the crowd control of the other team. You're going to put yourself in the way of everything. So if you see the wrath, or you see the shame, or you see the whatever character who's going to do something, run up as boulder and get in the way and make them waste all of their crowd control. That's what boulder is really the best at doing. He absorbs all the damage. And meanwhile, your enemies like Thorn and your, your, your allies, they can launch their you know, DPS from farther away while you're getting punched in the face constantly. I gotta restart this. Hang on a minute. This isn't, this isn't working. <laughs> boulder. Boulder, boulder, boulder. Um... So Boulder, Boulder starts my conversation in the mid, the great, the, the very solid tier. He's good. He's an all-around great character. Just is not a damage king, but that's the only thing. And really in Battleborn, it's not a huge deficit if you're just that good at staying alive and, and interrupting everything, which is what Boulder does. I'd also put on this, I would put Miko here. Well, I'd say Alani is like the all-time GOAT. For, for most things, and healing especially. I'd put Miko, like, in the next, like, very much viable, really great character. You know, best single target healing in the game. And has a nice slow. And if a co if you have a competent Miko, and, you know, I, I, I knew the name of a very good Miko player, and I do forget who it was, but they were outstanding. Every time I was in trouble, I turn around, Miko's right there, healing me. And the Miko isn't dying. You know, if a Miko can stay alive, it's the your it's your best friend. And that's what Miko's there for. A good Miko is your best friend in this game. Absolutely. I would also say in this this tier, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on who's playing the character, I mean, th honestly, this guy gets shafted on. So, dude, and I'm not counting legendaries. I'm counting just regular. He's borderline mid tier. I, uh... So let's see. I have uh, Boulder and Miko, and I think Marquis also goes here. Marquis is a beast in this tier, an absolute beast. We all know what Marquise can do. And Wrath... I'm also putting Wrath in here. A lot of the characters down here I'd call more like level 2, but really good. Like, really solid level 2. Here you go. Now, these three here... You notice I didn't... I don't really use them, but... Uh, that's besides the point. Yo, I forgot that I unlocked her Magnus skin. That's dope. That's dope. Um... Deandy and Melka and Reyna do they make mid tier? It's it's up for debate, I think. And we'll have to debate later because we have a match. Maybe. Come on guys. Come on, please do meltdown. I beg you. No, not face off Friday, please. Please. Yo, blowfish. Or fine, cold snap, I don't care, that's fine. Please. Please, I don't care. No, don't do face off. Please. Yeah. I should have voted for Meltdown. Damn it. Should have cold snap. No! <laughs> no! Who votes for face off, dude? Yo, these new players. No! Face off Friday. Oh, man. Dude, face off is so bland. Face off Phoebe, face off Friday. Okay, okay. You guys like repeats? I'm sorry. I can't help it. I mean, at least we're playing at all. At least we're playing in any capacity here. Um, do I, I don't have an attack version of this? Hmm. 
That's unfortunate. probably thinking I'm picking Shane unless they're watching my video. Are you on that team watching my video? <laughs> no. <laughs> Seaman, 1610. Hmm. Who are these people? I don't recognize a damn soul. I recognize our other team. Ron, DZ, Blowfish, Madoc. Hell no. Uh... I am Skits. I think I also know that name. Ooh. Oh, look. There's there's Friday Benedict on the other team. Oh, man. As I was talking about God tier, there he is. <laughs> you know, I would probably put Phoebe in. I'm going to go back. I'm going to come back to that after the after the next match and I'm going to talk about mid tier. We'll we'll get back. And then shit, I probably should be writing this down. Because I'm fucking making a list. And I'll have to obviously review the list. Because I can't just do it off the cuff. I, I'm not I'm not like reading anything. You know. Uh... <laughs> Face off. Defeat Morelsi and claim their masks. Place those masks in the central repository to earn points for your team. The more difficult the target, the more valuable the mask. Build tactical structures to lure more Morelsi onto the battlefield, or to summon minions to harass the enemy team. Defeat enemy Battleborn to force them to drop their masks and claim them for your own. All right. The first team to reach 500 points achieves victory. I'm sending you all to your death in three. We do have one two, other 150 on our team. I must pull back. Go. This will be my grand experiment yet. Oh, movement glitch. Stop moving around. Everybody back the hell up. Chips or whatever. Headhunter bots deployed. Ready yourself for a glorious end. I can't wait to study your board. An ally has deployed a headhunter bot. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
bot moving out. Oh, I forgot! Oh, I fucked it up! No! I went, meant to do healing instead of the, uh... Oh! An ally has deployed a headhunter bomb. I'm gonna try a little trick here. Watch this. Watch this, watch this. I don't need to see you to stab you repeatedly. Getting a bit warm, eh? Oh, lucky! Her clone stopped me, dude! Oh my gosh! You see that? Her clone blocked me from, from getting off that ledge. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, the shenanigans of face-off, I'm telling you. Uh, with some new players. Oh, come on! It's face-off, dude! No one gives a shit! No one gives a shit! I don't know why you picked face-off, either. I'm actually kind of glad because we would have gotten our asses creamed in the other mode. Wouldn't even a contest. Enemy headhunter bot deployed. Be on your guard. Hostile forces are halfway to victory. 
I shall never sheathe the clean blade. <laughs> Speaking of tier lists, Ombra is actually pretty good on uh, face off. Now that I'm thinking about it. I mean, who would make a face off? I mean, I don't make a face off tier list. <laughs> I ain't doing that, friend. Damn, son. team hasn't even accumulated any fucking uh
Friendly headhunter bot deployed. Okay. Enemy team is carrying enough masks to win. Take them out before they can deposit them. Enough! I'm finishing this! Enemy headhunter bot deployed. Be on your guard. <laughs> The enemy is carrying enough masks to win the match. Stop them before they can turn them in. So <laughs> long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we I, I, I'd like a different uh, group of players, maybe. Enemy team is Just carrying maybe. enough masks to win. Take them out before because they can deposit it's, uh, An ally has deployed a headhunter bot. Later in the day or some shit, people will come online. Enemy headhunter detected. <laughs> the enemy is carrying enough masks to win the match. Stop them before they can turn them in. <laughs> Enemy team is carrying enough masks to win. Take them out before they can deposit them. Wow, we only... Yo, they didn't even kill any Varelsi. <laughs> Look! <laughs> yo, man, I had the lead of Varelsi kills with 20. <laughs> but, uh, you know, even so... <laughs> you know, they got all the gems in the fucking boss fight. What are we gonna, what are we gonna do about it? Nothing. We can't fight those people. That was a that was a that's a comp heavy team right there. And this is a team of brand new players. One 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 fifty. I love how the the match history has taken offline. That's awesome. This was not working a week ago. So we're not even keeping track of games anymore. That's fucking hilarious. This game is going to its death. <laughs> oh, oh, it was arguably in the last decade. So we're we're even counting, you know, the Xbox 360 days, right? We're fucking amazing online games. I was an Xbox 360 owner. Uh, we are talking about top three online experiences in the last ten years. So 2010 to 2020, Battleborn is in the top three, in my opinion. Um, for online games, I would argue that... Oh, Black Ops 1 was pretty absurd. Call of Duty Black Ops 1, that was sensational. Uh, pretty much, overall. Just at the time, it was a huge deal. And I would also argue, let's see, the other online game... Oh! The other online game that I would like in the last 10 years... Hmm. Online, so Versus. Because I don't play a lot of Versus games, honestly. I... Um, hmm. Would it be another Call of Duty? No, it would be, um... Hmm. <laughs> Versus games. I, I, there's a, I, I'm forgetting something. I'm forgetting something from the 360 days. There was a game I played online that I really liked. And I'm trying to remember what it was. Not Halo Reach. It was a good game, but it wasn't. It's not my top. Not my top ten. That was 2010, I believe. No. Call of Duty Black Ops. I liked Black Ops 2 a lot. Uh, not three. I didn't play three. Um, now we have to actually try and play a real Phoebe build, Phoebe match. This is the Phoebe gear I usually go with here. Now you might ask yourself, why do I go with a skill damage item? Well, because Phoebe's skill is so good against the Sentry. It's so good. 
It destroys that shield like crazy. It it kills minion wave. It it uh, can get multi kills and it hits the sentry. And I use the one with extra attack speed, so at least I'm getting something out of it, right? And then I save some sh uh, shards by using a white sh uh, generator. Although I easily could use a a green. I think there's like a reload speed or something. No, that's a shard generator. There's something I can do with a green uh, syringe. Or like healing received or given or something like that. Anyhow. Anyhow. Um, so long. We have uh, Black Ops Wire. Oh. Um, no, GTA 5 wasn't really an online game. It, it, it kind of was, but I honestly wouldn't... No, nah, I, I wouldn't call it. I wouldn't count it. I did not play a lot of competitive games. Oh, Smash Brothers, if we're counting, like, a fighting game. Of course, it's Smash Brothers. <laughs> um, don't play PC. So I don't have anything to go on on PC. Incursion. Fight your way through waves I would say... The enemy's sentry. It's this in Black Ops 1, man. Escort minions to enemy sentries. Black Ops 2 is, is similar. Them vulnerable to attack. Destroy the enemy's final sentry to achieve victory. You watch it? <laughs> Kick all the asses in three, <laughs> two, one. <laughs> you watch you're Begin. watching. <laughs> Minion fabrication initialized. Get ready. <laughs> Alright, this is our first legitimate match of the day. Nice appetizer before, you know. Another willing test subject. They don't have a lot of crowd control on the team, but... I felt safe because of their comp. It's not that crowd control heavy. Nice. Miko, heal, 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 heal. Miko, 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 heal, 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 heal. All right. Okay, you're you're gonna die, dude. Get out of there. Dude, that Miko is like one health. What's he doing? Yo, Miko, what are you doing, Miko? Oh my God, he's scaring the shit out of me, dude. Help our minions destroy an enemy sentry. Nope, that's not safe. Yep. Outcast thralls available for hire. I'm gonna get a thrall because why not? Well, the shards, that would be why. But I think the thrall is a better chance. Better play. Thrall mercenary camp engaged. An ally hired some thrall mercenaries. Shit, it got stuck on there. One of the reasons why Phoebe's not higher tier is because of her escape option. 
bugging out sometimes, and it really can screw her over. Really bad. Ooh, Atticus, that's not good, my bro. In, get me out! Get me in, get me out! Holy moly! We've engaged a thrall mercenary camp. Thrall mercenary camp engaged. Okay. Slowly but surely making my way through the rounds here. And one of their teammates unfortunately quit. They're down a player. I do need my ultimate though before I can Mercenaries are available. Friendly mercenaries moving out. This is farewell, I'm afraid. I'm home, Nova. I'll be back in a jiffy. Do we have a thrall? Oh no, I don't believe we do. No, no, uh no. Sometimes it gets hidden in the display and the little red dot is actually there. That should have changed to show it to be red or something or a different color or a little outline. had a bad face-off team and they had a you know they had some bad allies on their side you know cool oh man mm. 
Nice, nice. We got an incursion under our belt. Hell yeah. Even though it was an incomplete round. I never take quitter rounds like a real win. Like it, It's a win, but it's not a real win. But, uh, you know, I'm glad they decided to surrender. Let's move on. Let's get a refresh. Maybe we'll fight them again on a real match. I think Phoebe was a great choice for tonight, guys. I'm having fun. I hope I hope the gameplay's fun. You know, I play Shane and Orox a lot. And I play Galilea. And I know that character is a tankier, not as high damage dealing. <laughs> and maybe not as quote unquote hype. But I hope that uh you know, you like Phoebe and you're enjoying the the stream tonight. Ooh. This is also We're going to paradise, folks. And hey to the viewers, I hope you're enjoying the stream. I, I do have the chat open. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, I'm happy to read them. For a change, I have my, uh, my stream open, which is... Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I have it open this time. Um, all right, let's see. Let's, let's, uh, let's see what we got here. I said I'm committing to Phoebe, and that's what I'm going to do. On guard. That's what I'm going to do, son. Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking about having a generator style build instead. Yeah, I could probably do this one. Arguably, hmm, a better selection, a better choice for this style of map. And I would have better uh, healing. I would lose a little bit of DPS, but, uh,. It is what it is. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this. We'll see what happens. Well, Phoebe's definitely my favorite attacking character, not even a question. It's Phoebe and Atticus, but Atticus is kind of a tanky sort of thing. <laughs> He's a... For raw, single-target DPS, Phoebe's my favorite. Absolutely. There's, there's not a question. She's way too much fun. Um, and requires a lot of attentive gameplay. Meltdown. Earn points by guiding your minions As you see, like, I have to get out of every every encounter. I have to only be in that encounter for, like, five seconds, five seconds. maybe at maximum. Um, otherwise... Okay. Take one look at this pile of badass and run the other way. Just I haven't played this map in eons. I don't believe. Last time I played, I didn't get this map. I only got two matches. Mm. 
We have God Benedict on our team, it's like impossible to lose now. <laughs> Heaven, you always want to really get the minions destroyed early on. It really helps. As you can see here, their side is so unprotected, we're getting the points. And the other side is fine. I'm happy here. Yeah, they can't hold line. Just It's fine. I want shards anyway. No, 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 no. You do not do that to me. You no do that. You no do that to me. You're dead. Get this thing out of here. Nice. There we go. See how hard it is to hit Thorn? You see that? Her model is so thin. Her model is so fucking stupid. <laughs> I mean, that Thorn needs to not be there doing what she's doing. She has to be a lot more mobile. Oh, 
Oh, that's annoying. Okay. You know, I've been away from this game for a while, and some of these other players probably don't know who I am. I played the fuck out of this game. I played... Uh, it was my game. It was my jam, as uh, viewers know, for near three years. That thorn is unsure of what to do. That much I know. <laughs> Another one. Another one. Yes. Yes. We have another surrender, folks. I will take that. I will. I will take that. We'll. We'll. Uh, it's pretty much just the two teams right now. It's. I think was it the third match we've. I think we got rearranged a little bit, but uh, that's uh, we have a uh, blowfish on our team this time. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, this game, this game was always great, guys. It was a great time. I find it funny that they shut down the matchmaking records. I don't really give a shit, but you know. Oh, Daryl, you hear me? All right, Phoebe. Phoebe has done a great representation for the purposes of uh, very uh, variety. Um, I'm gonna switch it up. Let's go back. To, let's go back to some uh, good old-fashioned Sharox, shall we? Um, I feel like I feel like using my my favorite duo. I feel like it. I feel like it, guys. And actually, fun fact: Shannon Norox and Phoebe are pretty similar. In case you didn't know, it kind of. They both have what I call stab melee, which is you're 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 hitting. A smaller scope of um, you're hitting forward, not to your sides, and that's kind of a you're using um, stabs in, or punches instead of swings. So they're punchers. I like punchers. Punchers are a lot of fun. Uh, and both Phoebe and Shane are punchy. <laughs> so there you go. Although Shane's more of a boxer and Phoebe's a fencer. There you go. That's kind of how you think about it. All right. Uh, uh, although it's funny because Shane, Shane and Oryx's um, attacks, the animation looks like you're clawing the screen, but the hitbox isn't as wide, for example, as uh, El Dragon's secondary or um, Wrath's as well. Uh, what the hell? There we go. That. So okay, that's the build I usually use. Ah. So we're gonna, you know, change it up a bit. See what happens, guys. We.
I'm gonna miss I'm gonna miss this game, guys. I already kind of do. I'm just enjoying it while it's around time to time. And uh, yeah, that's what I have to say about that. I hope they make a free-to-play Battleborn 2. Free to play fully. Because no one fucking no one buys these games anymore, guys. Fortnite proved that. Fortnite proved it. Free to play. Battleborn free to play. Don't jip the customer. Don't fuck around. Incursion. Fight your way through waves of minions and defeat the enemy sentries. Escort minions to enemy sentries to strip away their shields and leave them vulnerable to attack. Destroy the enemy's final sentry to achieve victory. All right. The party starts in three, two, one. Go. Let's do this. Minion manufacturer. Oh, that's a miss. Prepare for assault. Sorry, I gotta get back to aiming with the boomerang. Moving to position. They have the god Montana. They have a pretty annoying team over there. No! BB! One thing I've been a little bit bad about is the clock. I just remembered that I really have to watch that fucking clock. It's been a while, guys. It's been a while. That's why I wasn't getting shards these last few rounds. Okay, clock. Hello. Look at the clock. <laughs> I need healing items. I will have to get them, I will have to get them. All mercenaries My job is made a lot harder without them. Damn it! Damn! Our Umber died, that was not good! I see that marquee. That's not good. Out 
Outcast thralls We're gonna do an old-fashioned move. I haven't done this in a long time. All right, thralls there. Uh, okay, now we're gonna steal shards first. Yeah, let's do that. Montana got me! No! Okay, but we got the... Sh okay, it worked, it worked, it worked. Okay, okay. That was fucking crazy. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Just don't die, people. Don't die, people. No! Umbra! Stop! You're dying! What the fuck happened there? What?! One health! Are you kidding me?! Our Umbra has to stop dying. Who's Umbra? Oh god, the noob. When noobs pick healers, I get very, very scared. Okay, chipping away, chipping away. He's using a some legendary crap. Yo, our Ombra's a feeder! No! We can't win with a feeder Ombra though. We can't. We can't do it. We can't. Damn, man. Ah. Oh my god, what's our... Hit the crits! What are you doing, dude? Why are you going in circles? Hit the critical, you're Phoebe. Oh my goodness. Yo, our Phoebe needs to learn how to hit the crit on that thrall. You can just fucking hit his face. Do double the damage, basically. Shit. The only Phoebe to use double. I got stunt. There we 
It's it's about to get real now. I hope our armor doesn't keep dying though. You're doing this the hard way. Guide minions to the center. Three, two, one. Oh, Beatrix, beautiful! Who is, is uh, Blowfish Beatrix? I forget. Beautiful timing there. Focus in here, guys. Start. Ombra died again. Feed her Ombra, folks.
Montana get away. I'm trying to think about that. It's like I think I, I stunned somebody else on their team. That was weird. I thought I had that Montana for good. Damn. Allies have engaged in mercenary camp. I tried. Look at their legendaries. Legendaries galore on this field. Think about Raw mercenary camp mm. Legendaries everywhere. <laughs> no, I don't care as long as we get to play. At this point. Friendly thralls on the field. I forgot we don't have an Ombra. I gotta pr not rely on the healer. I totally should pay attention there. Don't do that again. That's not a good sunspot because I can't go to the lane now. Thank you. You should have waited for me to go to the lane, then put out a sunspot. like a fool! Should have gone for the fucking bot. Oh, come on! Oh my gosh, dude. Well, I'll take it. Mmm. Ha 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 ha! 
My turret! It was my turret! I gotta stun him. I gotta stun his ass. Oh my god, it's so laggy! Oh my god, dude! Shield there, and it just it failed. Oh my gosh! One example, one example of why this game didn't work. Just the nut, just these little bugs, man. Oh my goodness! You all saw that too. The fetch didn't connect. I needed that overshield to get away. That's why I had to go hide behind the shard. And, of course, our Umbra is looking at her skill tree like a book. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Suffers on! Eat, Arax, eat! I die in your misery. Okay, I like pizza. One of our sentries is under attack. <laughs> So annoyed. Your judgment is at hand. Let's put that immune system to the happy birthday. Here's your rocket. I mean, present. And I'm gone. Mm. Our foes have moved on a thrall mercy. 
Automatic kill for them. Phoebe, hit it! Come on, come on, come on, come on! That is so much Phoebe's job! <laughs> Yo, the quick fetch out of stealth. I love doing that shit. It's like, hello! Phoebe, hit the goddamn shepherd bot! Oh my gosh! What was that? <laughs> no. Dude, this is a this is absurd. Fucking Phoebe and. Jeez, Louise! I can't get through because they're dead. That's huge! That was huge! Yes. 
Now that is how we clutch it with a bunch of feeders, man. With a bunch of feeders on our team. Look at this. 0-14. Oh, and, and we still got the win, man. Oh. Whoo. Whoo. <laughs> that's how you clutch it. That that's that's how you do it. Yo know, man. There's a chance that I will make one last montage when this game is offline and clips from, you know, matches like this uh, are probably going to be involved. We got 50 minion kills. Yo, Blowfish and I getting 100 freaking minion kills. We actually got the match results this time. That's nuts. Let's see. 11 and 1 and 11 and 10 and 3 and 10. 50, 49. Look at this. Look at the hard power. Of the veterans on this team, you know, Beatrix 14, you know, holding it down, uh, legendary. Yo, man. Yo, man, that's how you hold down the line. Look at that, man. Amazing. Yo, let's see. Oh, yo, that try hard Rendy? Yo, Keola. Kivola, sorry to burst your bubble, but, uh, yeah, your legendary didn't help you. You still died eight times, my dude. It's a lot of deaths, I hate to say it. With your Voxus crap. Oh, yeah, Voxus. <laughs> Voxus. On a Rendy. I remember, I remember those days, man. I used to do that shit. I, I did. Be it, you know, we had Daryl going with the Beatrix combo, the Beatrix legendary. But he was doing more utility, I guess. Oh, it felt so... I gotta tell you, it felt so good to get that Arendi trying to use Vox's cheese. <laughs> What's, it felt good. It felt good. Um, yeah. Look at Kid Y, although Kid Y died a lot. 34 buildables. And legitimate loadout. I'll take... Kid Y over Kavolia every day of the week because Kavolia is trying to cheese you with Voxus. And while they did get a lot of minion kills, Arendi gets minion kills by, by default, so it's not like a, a very impressive thing. Um, you know, Blowfish holding it down with, with uh, you know, incredible Rocket Man. <laughs> We're getting some matches. This is good. This is really, really refreshing, and I have to say it's been very entertaining. This is the, the most legit stream I've done in a while. A while. Okay, so... I think I have time for, let's see, another game? saw how um, really it was because of their Montana and Ombra that was what was annoying Ombra got away so much from me in that round I was very annoyed by that it happens Ombra's fast as hell um, I just want to make sure that I haven't I had to re-download this game I just want to make sure I'm not like aiming assist I hate aim assist I hate it oh good it, it saved that good all right I, I can't stand aim assist at all. It, the sticky to the, you know, it sticks to the character. Ugh, no, no. But on the flip side, uh, it may make hitting those quick 
characters like Ombra a little bit more difficult, but I don't care. I want to hit my kills legit. I think I have one more in me, and I might, I might come back online later tonight. It's very much possible. And if I do, it would probably be after 9.30. 9, 9.30. EST. Depending on how my plans shape up. Dude, that match, that was, that was good. That, that was fun. That was a good match. It's been a while since I've had fun. Uh, on incursion. I'm going to give it 10 minutes, guys. If we don't get a match in 10 minutes, I'm going to have to call this part one. Come back later tonight. Pretty likely. So, um, we'll see. Too bad about the fetch bug still happening, guys. They couldn't patch it. I oh, they patched it, but they couldn't patch it all the way. It does happen, and it's very frustrating when it does. You hit the fetch, and Oryx just flops there, and you don't get your overshield, then you die. And that that is a oh man. It could be my biggest gripe because this is my main character, and that's a very, very bad flaw. Um, it cost me a life in that last round, as you saw. If I had the overshield, I, it's not necessary that I would have had to run back into that corner. I probably could have gone hide back in the lane, get out of there. Um, but without the overshield, I had no choice. Um, it's really strange why that bug happens, and I'm wondering what causes it, so... You know, the, the code says you throw it, Oryx, it makes contact with a hitbox. That hitbox pr procs Shane's overshield. Now, why wouldn't it proc it? I'm wondering what the code is saying. Like, it hit it, but maybe there is a timing issue between the hit and the overshield in the code. And maybe there are parameters that bypass an overshield or some shit. And it doesn't activate upon hit in those rare instances. And I'm wondering, maybe the character's turned a certain way? Or if the geom it's a certain geometry? I'm trying to think, what's bound to that? Or did they recode a percent chance ability to a 100% chance ability and it's not truly 100%? That would be awful. That would really suck. Apparently Aurox was supposed to be a character that threw out poison or some shit. I think I read this once. Like, Aurox was gonna spit out some poison and, like, grab people into the poison or some sh I don't remember. And then... 
It was actually one of the first ideas they had. And then they repurposed it to have this girl model surrounded by a giant creature. And they thought that was, obviously, I think it's a lot better. It's a much more interesting dynamic, right? You got two characters for one. And one, the girl controls the djinn, but the girl needs the djinn to do what she does. Can't be a powerful entity without this powerful monster. But the monster is bound to her, cannot, you know, mess with her authority at the same time. So it's a power struggle. Uh, <laughs> and it's funny, you get to play as both characters. That's the best part of the character. You play as Orox primarily, but you also play as Shane. You hit as Orox, but you move and throw boomerangs of Shane. It, it, it's just like, you know. And sometimes Oryx leaves you. That's why. I, that's why I actually love the character. I love the character because of how unique that dynamic is. It's, uh, there are other, you know, characters where you have a friend or an ally, or you even summon some supporters. But rarely do you have a character where it's like I'm using an extension of my that other person's body, and then you know there are periods where I'm using that or I'm not using that. Now, that's the biggest strength of Battleborn. The character design and uniqueness, they're all so unique, guys. The characters are designed really well. And you can tell that a lot of time and effort went into that. And that's very important. I'm going to refresh once and give it a whirl. And then I'm going to have to call it part one over, unfortunately, if we don't get it. In the next like six to eight minutes, some um, yeah, we'll see. Um, oh, I should go back to my tier list discussion. That's right, that's right, that's what I'll do. So, I think I already had top tier is. Uh, <laughs> Stupid spell check. Okay. Uh, um. Montana's, I think, up there. I think Montana is top tier. Montana. And. Uh, is Mike top tier? Top tier. He doesn't have crowd, really good crowd control. That's the one thing. Okay, I would call this like exalted tier. Okay, and then I will do um, high. Is gonna be Mike, um, Atticus. I think Galt goes on here for his use, such utility. It's arguable. Um, he's a gimmick character, but he's a really good gimmick character. Like, really good. He carries everybody, that shit. Um, I'm putting... Um... Oh, Kelvin. No, I think Kelvin... Oh, man, dude. Kelvin or Montana as the best tank. That is a... Oh, my gosh. Um... Shit. That's rough, man. Which one? If I had to pick one, who's better than the other? Oh man, dude, what the fuck, <laughs> dude? That's so challenging. I mean, I feel like, honestly, um, Montana, because of his range, is slightly superior, but it's slight. I think Kelvin requires more from the team than than um, Montana. That would be the only reason. All right, we'll have to come back to that in part two of the stream. I've written down some names here. I have a top tier and I have like super top tier and I have a high tier. I 
I could do a tier list maker video one day on this as like a final project for Battleborn. Um, totally um, an opinion though, not even a question. It's an it's a opinion and nothing more. And I'm not grabbing out the calculator, and I'm not going like, okay, this skill does X damage, and with this gear set it does... I mean, I'm doing general... How does a character function on a general level? Like, is it a really great character on, you know, varying skill levels and comps? Or is it like a super hard, I gotta dedicate everything to this shit? Um... Mm, mm, oh lord who the hell is on our team what the fuck uh I'll go with galley why not <sighs> um don't I have a Galilea build I think I do Heavy build. Ooh, yeah. Very hard to kill. Very hard to kill this character. Actually, speaking of that, uh, I'm going to do... Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, that's a tough one. Oh, shit. And I'm also thinking, like, how these characters play at the highest skill level. Not average, like, good players. Um, mm In Persian, fight your way through waves of minions and defeat the enemy sentries. You can thank me later. Escort minions to enemy sentries. Yeah, I'll thank myself later because we're gonna get crushed here. <laughs> we're gonna get destroyed. Destroy the enemy's final sentry to achieve victory. Haul ass and roast noobs in three, two, one. Begin. Leave them. Minion Rick. manufacturing. Leave them bloody. Prepare for, for your assault. home worlds. A wave of minions has been deployed. Wow, this team isn't even here! Look at this! Oh, this sucks! Enemy forces are attacking the sentry. Attack. 
Dude, I'm like frontlining the whole enemy team. What is this? Yo! Dude, where is everybody? Miko's frontlining. Oh, goodness gracious. Fuck, that was horrible. Oh, I'm rusty. Oh, I am rusty. That's not good. That's not good. Fuck! A sentry has engaged the enemy. Defend it. All right, it's over. We held it for as long as we could with a missing teammate. Not an official round. And the Oscar Mike is the one who left. Yeah, no. Yeah, no.
Enemy forces are crushing our minions. Escort them to their objective. All mercenaries can engage. Yo! The fuck is this lag? Look at the lag right now! Whoa! I'm not going down without a fight, guys. I'm going to play this for real, as if it were a real match. Enemy forces are attacking a sentry. Mercenary camp. 
I'm trying, guys. I really am. You know, we're not going to win this. They don't have a lot of crowd control on their team that is really a bother to me. interrupted my goddamn skill.
I'm gonna I'm gonna make this the longest game possible and hopefully hold off the full perfect game. Yo, man, I tried. I really did. Eighty six minion kills, or Oscar Mike's going one and six. I've seen players do worse than that. Yo, if I have to have a bot, Oscar Mike is the one I want. Absolutely. Our Oscar Mike. Oh, mercenaries are available. Our bot Mike. Yo, one and one, that's a really good Miko, guys. He's really trying. An allied sentry is besieged. He's trying. That's all you can ask for with this. Yeah. 
I had the most damage on the team as the tank. Well, there, that explains a lot too. Like, our team wasn't doing any damage. Yeah. It is what it is, guys. We didn't have a mic, and uh, I would say, what was our marquee doing? I actually, I don't recall what his score was. I wasn't actually looking at him too much. But I don't recall him helping that much. Yeah, okay, I'll have to watch the video for that one. All right, guys, that's the end of the stream for now. But uh, part two, I will be back uh, probably later tonight. If not, I'll come back tomorrow morning. I feel like playing this game, so let's do it. Anyway, guys, Cyclone signing off.